we're trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Today we're putting these lovely heated seats in courtesy of the Hickman clan. Going to attempt to put them in the beloved Jetta Camino. So I'm filming today majority of the pan shots and all this with a wonderful gimbal. So forgive me for my amazing camera skills that Schmidt is not going to trust all day long. So I'll be brutally honest. I've never done this before, neither has Jared. So YouTube has been a loose friend of ours for this, just like it is for you watching it now. From what I've seen, you do have to remove the trim over the slide rails on the seats. So there should be a little cover on each side underneath a T20 Torx screw holding the entire cover down. So it's gonna be a T20. We're just using the typical Jared style adapter on top of adapter. So right at the beginning of the seat, there are two 13 millimeters. Just like that, you too can remove your front seats. <laughs> Important note that should have been at the beginning. You do want to disconnect your battery for about 30 minutes prior, otherwise the airbags in the seats will come off. Oh, you got something. There you go. You got a harness right there. I can't see it. So, tell me. It's all you, homie. Here you go. I'm not able to get it. I think I can get it. Oh, oh shit! This is, what, this is what nobody shows you. Any of the videos that I watched, you could tell people had immaculately vacuumed it out, shampooed their carpet. Because who wants to show real life? <laughs> Woo. I'm sure glad that heated seat wiring is just built right in, Jared. Got him! Want me to pull this one out? Sure. Here we go. It's already detached. Just make sure you get those connectors sent. You're connected. You still gotta go all the way back. Oh. 
it's already off the top. You just gotta slide the back out. Got Getting a little belchy over there. didn't work like mine. <laughs> I figured yours would be a little better off than what mine was. It broke after I bought it. It doesn't go up any higher. You're gonna have to twist. You're gonna have to twist. <sighs> <laughs> Thankfully, I left the the more difficult chair in there for you. So, in order to run the wiring to the seats, we do need to remove the center console need to pop out the covers over the screws and it'll be the same T20 screws. I say you just accept it and you yank that thing up. Yep, it's happening. <laughs> Put that back down. Ow! <laughs> We'll have to put the car in at least one to remove the console that surrounds the gear shifter. Along the bottom of the dash, there are a number of T20 screws. Once those are removed, you can use a trim tool to pop the dash off. There's a metal 
shield that is also secured with T20 screws that will have to be removed to expose the wiring harness. Why were you just complaining about that? So, I can't even tell you from the company, I don't know what the name is, I can't remember if it's German, but they were kind enough to mark each corresponding connector with letters. Um, I guess obviously somebody would do A and B, but they chose to do F and B. <laughs> you can take that for what it's worth. But we don't have to guess when we wired up, does the passenger seat be controlled by the driver's side switch? So I do at least appreciate it, even though the letters they chose are not that pleasing. Unless you know of an F and B. Pull out the uh, this inlay. Another dummy switch. And the dummy switch. Dummy! Dummy thick! To remove the center vent, you'll need a trim tool or a small screwdriver, but be careful as the plastic is brittle. some gold and I was probably blocking all of it but it's off <laughs> Look at how sexy that is. Ooh. Done! Just leave it like that and dry. Yep, this video is 100% darker now. I messed something up. Forgive me for my amazing camera skills. So real quick, we're wrapping. Everything's run under here. Our ground is right there. So we will tie this wire in, and I'm sure it's insanely hard to hear with the salamander going. And then we need to tie back into the fuse box right here. And there is a fuse that's already in there, so or a, a spot for the fuse to go, so we just need to tie into that. wiring and those are your parts to use it says ringo's mpt <laughs> steady plus k130 if available what's a k130 
the reason I pulled the Euro switch is we have to tap into the uh, lights to make the buttons light up. On the back of the Euro switch harness, there is uh, well, there's pin 17, and pin 17 controls the accessory lights. So we'll tap into that, and that'll give us power for our lights. Very secure. So we tied in to pin 17 on the Euro switch. That'll give us our accessory lights. So in theory, once the batteries hook back up, those bad boys should turn red. Got him, baby! Look at those! I always draw a little more. Oh, I'm hurting my nads. Oh, oh. Probably there it is. We don't have a fuse in there. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> it's where your hand just was. So here's the deal. German instructions. Nine. That means no in German, just in case you're wondering. We have to connect what wire we thought would, I guess, loosely make sense that it would be a ground, but we don't know. So this wire here has to actually be tied in way back up in here. Maybe Jared could see it. Right there, on that 30. To a relay. And then... Oh, good the, going nuts. What do you do? Oh, what are you doing? Forgive me for my amazing camera skills. And then the wire that we tapped into for the 7A fuse, like the instruction says, needs to go back, also back there, but to the 75X, which is the very first one down there. So we're gonna pull part of this apart and see what we can make happen here. Basically, we got the seat in. Lights work, as you saw. Jared would sit down in it and be like, oh baby, it's getting hot. And I would sit in it and I'd be like, there's literally nothing going on right here. He's like, I think I'm just out squirrel hunting. <laughs> so. I was deer hunting, but I was seeing squirrels. It's that's where we're at. at. Should have a connection. Ah. No difference yet. What where are you going? I think when you push down, you feel like you. I feel like. I don't know. I don't know, man. So sure enough, the German instructions are bunk, and by moving it down to those two relays that we talked about, uh, 75X and 30, it took a second for it to warm up. We did switch it out to a 20 amp fuse just so they would heat it faster than with the 15, but there be heat. Anybody actually trying to do this will leave a link in the description of a very helpful form that we found uh, because the German instructions are pretty hideous, even the ones that are translated to English.
Oh, hey. Much better. So something we did not explain at all, but to get these seats out and get the new ones back in, you simply have to take them all the way back on the track and they'll just fall right out. So once you detach them from this uh, bracket on the front, you literally just push it all the way back. So in theory, to get the new ones in, just start it all the way back, put those wheels inside the track, push it all the way to the front where you can actually latch it in. And so it should be the same exact as pulling the old ones out, only an exception of you have one extra harness you're putting in for the heat. Good enough, right? <laughs> The jet is done at last. It took way longer than it needed to. We'll put a link in the description for the uh, article we found. Always unplug your battery when doing electrical work. Yeah, that's all I got. Give a nice hearty wood up. I went down on accident. Forgive me for my amazing camera skills. <laughs> that was not hearty. Let's go.